After you've read through the learning objectives linked to each chapter in the book, you can go back to the Home tab and begin working on Module 2. You'll notice that there's a pattern to the class. Each chapter is covered, chapters 1 through 24 in your textbook, and each chapter will have at least three items listed under it. So chapter 1, Color Management, is the first chapter that we'll be working on this semester. I would like you to read chapter 1 in your textbook. You can purchase the book at the College Bookstore on Amazon.com, or if you click on the link that says Read Chapter 1, it will open in a new tab, and it will allow you to access the book remotely through your computer, um, the only downside to this is that it's an e-textbook and not everyone enjoys the electronic textbook version. So if you're someone who likes a physical textbook and you want to underline things or write things in the book, you may want to consider purchasing the textbook. Um, if you're good with an electronic textbook, just click on a link. It'll open directly to Chapter 1 Color Management and then you can read through the chapter. So this is the introductory page. If you hit these little arrows on the right hand side, you can click through and you can read everything that there is to read for the chapter. There sometimes is some sort of confusion between having an electronic book and having a physical book where students feel that they're missing something because they're accessing the book electronically. You are not missing anything. It is the same exact text that you would see if you had the physical book. And so if you're accessing just the electronic book, then that's perfectly okay. When you're done reading the chapter, you'll notice that there is a color management lecture that you can read. The color management lecture will include one of three things, sometimes two, sometimes all three of them. The first is a formalized slideshow lecture that I or another teacher has prepared. And if you click the little arrow in the bottom right hand corner, you can flip through the slideshow. Uh, side note, I can't figure out how to get these animations to go off of the slideshow. So for chapter one, you're going to have to endure. But after chapter one, this, um, the animations have not been activated. In addition to the slideshow lecture, you may see that there are recorded videos like the ones that you are watching right now. If they are included, they will be directly under the slideshow. Chapter 1 doesn't have that right now. And then in addition, you may see extra videos that I found that are helpful on covering the subject. And to show you that, I'm going to close out of Chapter 1 and go to Chapter 5, Workspaces. I haven't created a slideshow lecture at the time of recording this video. And so if you try to click through my little slideshow, you'll see that it just shows you what the objectives are and then there aren't any more slides. If you scroll down, there are videos that I found that help present the content that's covered in the chapter in a way that might make more sense to you than reading the book. I still want you to read the book, but these videos should be used to supplement the book and to make more sense of what's being covered. Uh, some chapters will have a formalized lecture, some chapters will have the reported lectures, and some chapters will have the videos. Some might have all of them, but not every chapter has all three, so keep that in mind.